and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shen Li. Gonna be our first deck today. Got four more sweet looking donation decks. All these were viewer submitted decks today. This first one's gonna be going with Shen, a card that I've just absolutely loved to play recently that we've been playing in so many different decks and so many different variations. This one is gonna be pairing it with Lee Sin. Another Ionia champion. So with both of the, our champions being Ionia, we get to pick whatever region we want to pair it with. And it looks like we are going with Demacia. Demacia is a really good region for uh, Shen. You know, it has the extra barrier stuff. You got your Bright Steel Protector and things like that. And then you also get some challengers. So we got like Genevieve Elmhart and Fleet Feather Tracker. Get some extra challengers in there, which is very good with Shen as well. Um, and then we use Ionia for like our, our spells for the most part for Lee Sin. Of course, Lee Sin is another challenger if you can enable Lee Sin with having the spells to play. Demacia's got a, one of the best cheap spells with single combat. And single combat's maybe the best spell to have with your barrier units. That's a great one to have. Um, so that'll be interesting to see how that plays out. We got a whole lot of two mana spells here with the Sonic Wave, the Retreat, the Key Guardian, the single combat. Single uh, Sonic Wave is going to be an important card for both of our champions, whether it's enabling Lee Sin with having the multiple spells or um, helping out Shen. You can just give anything Challenger and then have Shen give that anything a barrier. So that seems like a pretty important card for us. We're sitting at 23 units, 17 spells, and it looks pretty interesting. So here we go. Let's go play five games over in ranked like we always do. And we'll get it started. Bright Steel Formation could be a decent card for this deck. It doesn't help out Lee Sin at all. It just kind of is a card that works very well with Shen. It is a nine mana card though. And, and honestly with this format, nine mana is so much. Usually the games are kind of over by then. You know, like if you think about Noxus, the most important matchup, game's gonna be over by then. And even like a deck like an Brahman, if you think about a slower deck, a deck like Brahmanivia, I don't think the Brahmanivia would be scared at all of Bright Steel Formation. By the time you have nine mana and you have that, they'll just like block with an Anivia and it'll come back and they don't really care. So I, I think that it's probably just too, while it's very powerful, I think it's too slow overall. Really where it shines is against other Demacia decks. That's where Bright Steel Formation is the best and then just other like mid-range decks kind of in general. Probably great against like Bilgewater. These old eyes but uh, those aren't the most important things to be defeating right now. Ready the torches. Do you think the Riot will disable some cards in the future? Um, the yeah, we'll have to see what happens after a certain period because yes, like right now we're going to be getting new cards next month and then a uh, lar new large set next month, and then a small set two months after that, another small set two months after that, and then another large set two months after that, which is February. And then... Um, My shield is yours. And then another small set, small set, uh, which takes us to, you know, like, summer of next year. And then after that, we'll have to see. They haven't, they haven't said anything about what may happen with um with their plans after that because yeah we will have just a, a huge number of cards and that likely means that something's got to happen that there's just going to be too many cards to be playing um so yeah i don't know if there'll be some kind of like rotation um you know like how other games do or, or what like what can happen but likely something's going to be happening I, I, it's not it's not just going to be like where every single card will be available to play into perpetuity because that's just that's just too much and that also is kind of too much um, not only like to gives you too many choices and everything like that but it, it's also um, too difficult to get new players to join when there's 10,000 cards or whatever So the barrier barrier to entry would be too high at that point. 
That avalanche was certainly devastating. That was a very devastating avalanche. If we lose this game, which looks somewhat likely, it will be because of that avalanche. Yeah, single combat's very good. Versatile spell. I like that one too. But it's not like overtly powerful that you can just put it in any deck. Um, because, you know, you it does have the requirements where you gotta be playing units. Hey, Shreeb. So I go. Right. I don't have Challenger. <laughs> the Avalanche is good. That was a rough Avalanche. That egg? Extend your senses. How can Grom end? Time for to show me your best. A wise retreat. I've only cast three. Okay, now four spells. Release in. I don't know how I'm doing enough damage to kill a Braum. Okay. Figured it out. My talents are frost, my wings the bitter wind. And Brom is your we can show our friends the door. Ha! This is fun, yes? Good luck. Have fun. Our enemies cannot hide. I will not hold back. One thing, of course, that I never mentioned with these two that I probably should have just to begin with is just talk about how with Shen level, when it, if we have a leveled up Shen, then whenever an ally gets a barrier, it gets plus three, plus zero, so it can uh, be giving barriers to... Them. Yeah, that's really annoying. Deny, why don't you do anything ever? Yeah, burst is OP. Um... Imagine. I mean, I don't really imagine us winning this, right? Like, how how do we beat an Anivia? Like, we just is our time. Oh, I threw another deny. Now I wish I would have. So yeah, I could have denied the skill, but then you know, like if they have like you know vengeance and all that kind of stuff, and there's so many cards that I need to deny because they usually play harrowings and ruinations and all this other stuff. So it's like it's so hard to use a deny on just like that little skill. If I could have denied the Fury of the North, I would have. The 
King Koo go where they are needed. Conflict is all in the mind. As the dragon will. I sense an imbalance. So at least we, we have our champions leveled up. It's the positive. It's true, we didn't didn't have any trouble leveling Lee this game. What I'm what I'm worried I wasn't necessarily like when I said it when I said that I was worried about having spells for Lee, it wasn't necessarily having um, enough spells to level up Lee, it's because you have to play a spell to give Lee Sin Challenger. That's the thing that I'm most worried about. It's pretty gross that with cheap Anivia they get to replay Anivia. My talons are frost, my wings Just perfect mana. And frost is your wingman. <laughs> Chill in the air. Rom Vlad deck from yesterday. Or no, we did Brom Swain yesterday. You just want a Brom Vlad deck? Okay, there's a Braum Vlad deck. Hey, <laughs> thanks, Kinker. I don't think that there's really must-craft champions. I think it's you craft decks that you want to play and champions that you want to play and just kind of go that way. I don't think you just necessarily just craft champions that you're not planning on playing. So I don't think there's any just must-craft champions. I don't think it really works like that. I find them unworthy. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. All right, Tizzle. <laughs> yeah, just started today. We'll, we'll wait a little bit, but... 
Good to know. Um, what do we want to do? Patience is underrated. <sighs> that is true. We had some card draw. Stop. At least that resets Braum from leveling up, but then they could just get a new 3 3. Some card draw. I bring the Listen, immediately. It's just so. <laughs> So bad. Just don't have the. This retreat looks really awkward in our deck, doesn't it? Like what? Why is retreat in our deck? What's it, what is it supposed to do? Only I what are we supposed to do with this card? need us. It must be done. I'll protect the villages. You are safe with draw. Yeah, it's two spells to level police in. I Suppose. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, it's hard for us to play return. Um, I don't know. Would they just be better as like deep meditations? Is that too slow? Just a really weird. like that, but it, it does seem like that we're not going to be winning. Like, that Brahma Nivia matchup does seem really difficult. Um, just, we don't have... I don't know. I'm not sold that we have enough, like, late game or power for that matchup. That's okay. You can't beat everything. Um, but obviously the, the Avalanche 3 for 1 earlier on in the game was the thing that really set my opponent up. That'd be a matchup where it'd be really nice to have like, like unyielding spirit. Like, unyielding spirit seems like a good spell to be playing. I'm not sure why we don't have one of those. Maybe we need an unyielding spirit in here. All right, Karma Ezreal. We'll get rid of these expensive cards. We'll keep these two. Yeah, maybe a deep meditation or two. Like, we don't. I don't think we'd play three deep meditations. We'd just like one or two for those kind of decks. I think that the two retreats could probably be better. It could probably be like one deep meditation, one unyielding spirit. Because that's kind of what, uh, 
kind of what like the matchups. I mean, usually retreat, you play that against removal heavy decks, right? That like are gonna kill your things. What's up, Cabo? Pretty nice having Key Guardian and Shadow Assassin together. That's pretty nice. That's just a, a deep meditation where we got a 2 2 barrier in play, also. So, trading these. No, there's no concussive palms in here. Good job, Cabo. Came back from your daily walk. Good job. That's definitely important to do. I like it. I've started doing a daily bike ride. That's something I've started doing. doing that in the morning and it's been I'm feeling a lot better since doing, starting that I think I started that at like Sunday Okay, big Alfredo. Breathe in, breathe out. It's all good. Would you mind if we cha change just a couple of things here before the next game? Why did I block the elusive last round and, and just trade elusives? Because I don't have that many units out and I have a whole bunch of like these barriers and like Shen, you know, like I just drew this caretaker. So before that, like I didn't have any, like I need, I need something for Shen to pump up. Um, so like if, you know, if we wouldn't have drawn, if we would have drawn a spell, I would have had nothing to go along with the Shen. Um, so yeah, I decided not to block. Um, let's see, probably do a little bit of blocking here. Maybe we block. You cannot escape. Trade off elusives now. The thing about trading elusives is then they could just drop like an Ezreal at any time and then just like hit you with an Ezreal and get a Mystic Shot and then that's really annoying. My life for these lands. Let me do this block. My father's blade. Yeah, that's just like the best card to deny. That's two Ezreal triggers and a draw card. That's just the best card to deny. I, I wish I could have single combat also, but that's just that's just the card to deny. Well, that's too bad. That's too bad. 
So I had one more mana. Oh, nice. My strength is yours. Think I'm still like a yodel in uniform. Hold nothing back. Shen's gonna die anyway, so I will use single combat and take down the other 4-3, I suppose. Because again, it'll keep them from getting the Ezreal trigger. Tumble Dog with the tier 1 sub. Thank you, Tum Tumble Dog. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. First of the day. Oh, well, you're welcome. Saying, Tumblebox says, absolutely loving your daily content. Glad to have you here. Imagination is not experience, and instinct is no substitute. All right, so they got Eye of the Dragon back. Let's go with Leeson? Question mark. Sure. Only I can endure the dragon's fury. You can go with Lee Sin. Yeah, I think it's Lee time. I'll just pass as well. Hmm. Okay, so 11 mana. So if I'm, I'm playing this, that means I have 5 extra mana. So I have enough for, like, Protector and then, like, Sonic Wave with the spell. Or with the plus two plus zero, or like tracker without the plus two plus zero. Let's go with... Okay, so we don't have to make that decision yet with the tracker. I mean, the thing is if I play tracker, then play protector, I can pump those things up also with the Genevieve Elmhart. So maybe I should be doing that. Is that three out of seven? Yeah, th pretty sure the patch is next week. Pretty sure. Not 100%, it could be the week after, but I'm like 80% sure it's next week. But I don't think, I don't, I don't know of an official announcement. Their pride will cost them. I like tap. Okay, they still got four mana. Dang. You're covered. Yeah, I did like that they bounced my thing that only had three health, my Genevieve Elmhart that only had three health. I was happy with that. Our enemies cannot hide. Strike firm. Prepare yourself. My steel is yours. I will play my part. Never ask. And there 
Where's the Ezreal? Six. The answer lies within. Ugh. Where there is light, there is hope. Mm. I'm gonna play this on this turn, even though we don't get that bonus, but that'll make it make it more difficult to get rid of my Shadow Assassin. You know, it doesn't die to like a Mystic Shot. And then I can just go straight into attacking next turn. Um, if I had to choose one of those to kill, it would probably be Karma. Like, doubling up all the spells is just pretty crazy. Hopefully we can get rid of both of them. I fight with my spirit. Ugh, that's really annoying. I have the third one of those. Yeah, Karma does that. They had two Karmas in hand, so they played Karma and then the Inside of Ages, and so they get um, four new cards. So we'll level up Ezreal also. Yeah, Ezreal's at six, so this will level up Ezreal. I'm so good, I Casting everything twice. Probably pretty problematic. These woods belong to us. Their pride will cost them. So let's see, I'd rather do it the other way actually. I'm not sure how I'm not sure how Legends of Runeterra is supposed to design control champions. Cause I'd have to say like my least favorite de champion designs are are Ezreal, Karma, Heimerdinger. Like those are those are the those are certainly my I don't want to say like the worst ones, but they're my least favorite by a long ways. That's really silly. But I don't have... I can't really complain too much because I don't, I don't have like a better... I mean, well, besides Heimerdinger, I've talked about a different way to design that, but I don't really have like a... I don't have like a great template of like, this is what controlled champions should look like for positive gameplay. So I don't know. Um, okay, anyway, with our deck, the... We were talking about taking out Retreat. It really doesn't seem like it fits at all. Um, and our deck really looks like... Both of those games, it really looks like our deck could use some card advantage. Like, we're just sitting with basically no cards in hand all the time. So, the real card advantage, I suppose, would be Deep Meditation. It's mostly going to cost 5 mana to draw 2 cards. 
which that's not thrilling, but that, you know, that is another thing that helps trigger Lee Sin. I don't know. I... So maybe play like one of those and one on Yielding Spirit. We're talking about that. We'll try that one. Deep Meditation, one on Yielding Spirit. Um... Lux and Swain are good champions for control. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, I think they both are. And I guess I never really thought of Swain as a control champion. So Swain is like more of a, a mid-range card. But yeah, it is a pretty decent control champion. Yeah, those are those are both good. Yeah, Swain, Swain's awesome. That's that's a really well designed card. Do not fear the shrouded path. The dark beckons. Only the world is survive. So, well, you know, it's nice. Okay, I always like trying new things. Um, I think I think it, there's a, just a ton of value on trying new things. And I don't like having... Um, I don't like having, like, finite opinions of something like, uh, you know, this is the best deck, play this deck. No other options, like, play this. This is the best thing to do. Because then that just, find them unworthy. you know, like that's that's just an ending. And um, instead, I always like playing, you know, trying different things, and and um, just you know, continuing to learn, keep an open mind, uh, things like that. So basically, what I'm getting at is, I think it's good that we've tried like Shen with Lee Sin. Like this is you know something different that I haven't before. But in, in practice here, I can pretty confidently say that I would, that I much prefer Shen with Zed and Fiora and being a little bit more aggressive getting on the board. Um, Demacia and Ionia, not really Ionia, but Demacia has like the really good five and six mana cards. You know, like your Swiftwing Lancer, your Genevieve Elmhart that's in here. And so like playing like Genevieve Elmhart and Lee Sin is just kind of getting us too much uh, top end and not enough. Do I want to play Lee Sin? My shield is yours. Honor dictates both it's not giving us like enough power and speed. What's the plan? We shoot them. Um I don't know if I need a leveled up Shen. I can I can go key guardian protector. Yeah, I I should just Key Guardian Protector. I was thinking about saving the the Key Guardian and putting it on, putting it on like Lee Sin. It'll play like the next turn, but now we need to just we need to get some blockers out here. Yeah, I like Shen with Lux. I like those also. Because Lux is just really powerful. I feel like Lux is probably more powerful than Shen. Um. We walk into 
That was a great that was like that was just a perfect card for us to draw, wasn't it? That that was honestly the best card for us to draw. We got lucky. Yeah, we got really lucky with that game. That was the perfect card for us to draw. What's up, ammo? So yeah, I, that's that's kinda what I'm saying, Aizen, is that Lee Sin is is kinda like Genevieve, but not as good as Genevieve for our deck. So how could how could we make Shen Okay, so if we're if that's where we're at, how could we make Shen and Lee Sin work? Like what what is our deck missing? I guess I guess what that would be is just more spells for Lee Sin. And if you're gonna be playing more spells, you probably need more card advantage because you need to be able to draw those spells. So we need like deep medit maybe we just need more deep meditations with more cheap spells that help us enable deep meditation. So things like like Ranger's Resolve. Um, that somebody mentioned earlier, maybe stuff like that. Um, you know, maybe just not play Genevieve Elmhart then. You know, you just use Lee Sin, take out Elm Genevieve Elmhart, play cheaper cards, kind of across the board. Maybe that's what you do if we want to... If we want to try to make it the best... Lee Sin Shen deck that we can, and not just the best Shen Demacia deck. So, you know, I think there's better ways to be doing Shen Demacia, but if we want to make it Lee Sin, maybe that's what we need to do. Let me show you what I can do. Maybe you replace Demacia. Yeah, maybe it's. It's true. Maybe it's another region that can go better with Lee Sin. What would that be? With the cheap spells. Like PNZ, yeah, PNZ has rummage, which is awesome. I'll try anyway. do clog the same spot on the curve and that it has been pretty awkward maybe Genevieve Elmhart just needs to be like do we we don't have anything that costs five do we no we have nothing that costs five we just have these that cost six so that's that's probably wrong so probably Genevieve Elmhart should just be um the five mana five four challenger even just to just to get them on different spots of the curve I find them unworthy Freljord has yeah you could go Freljord, Brittle Steel, Elixir of Iron, that kind of stuff. Brittle Steel, Elixir of Iron, Flash Freeze. Um, you can even have the Plunder card if you want, like the Plunder plus one plus one stuff. I have my orders. Freljord's not bad. Duty, selflessness, heavy burdens. And then you can have Rhymefang Wolf and give that a barrier with Shen. Shield up. You cannot escape. Uh, yeah, yeah, Sh yeah, Lee Sin may be better, or maybe just worse than Sejuani in that case, too. Hmm. Look what you Uh, 
Double transfusion. Do you think maybe Bilgewater? Bilgewater has some good cheap spells. That could be it. I'll defend these forests to the end. Leeson does one thing great, it's finisher with Dragon's Rage. I think that's why it fits really well with Noxus, with Might and Caddo. They can emphasize that. Enforced equilibrium. They are under my protection. Makes sense. Because, yeah, poor Lee Sin. Think of, like, we just played Lee Sin this turn, how little Lee Sin would have done, and how much Genevieve Elmhart just did. This game isn't over, though. Looks like I need to be casting Deep Meditation and looking for... Looking for deny? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not too You're covered. Duty selfless. Not too scared of anything here. Like on on the ground, them playing. Well they just play like five mana four four elusive, like their last two cards are 5 mana, 4 4 elusive, and. Well, that's the 2 2 elusive. I was gonna say that in Warning Shot. Okay, certainly need to keep single combat Will of Ionia available for Noxion Fervor. So that's going to kill Genevieve Elmhart. Um, do I save Genevieve Elmhart? I think that answer is yes, right? Maybe that answer's no. I'm gonna say yes. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. You're really not that good at all. I sense an imbalance. Good as in nice, not good as in effective. Decimate, decimate. I'll get ya. Decimate to decimate.
like the idea of three Shen, two Lee Sin, one Twisted Fate. With using Bilgewater cheap spells and card draw for Lee Sin. I could see that. Oh, that one that we just played is a deck that you donated for later on in the week? Cabo? Okay, Miss Misfortune Gangplank? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Playing that either tomorrow or Saturday. Oh, wait. You want not Saturday, don't you? What are we doing? Alright, Spooky Karma. Get rid of these. Sorry. That was an easy mulligan decision. That took a while. Okay, a couple Key Guardians. I think we're gonna have Key Guardian protect the Elm Heart and the Shen, not the Shadow Assassin. I'm not as worried about Shadow Assassin dying. The thing about that, though, is... Shadow Assassin's like the one card they could kill early with like a Grasp the Undying, where... Where they're not really killing Shen or Elm Hearts or stuff like that, anyway. There's gonna be a big set the end of next month. Basically about about five weeks from now. Yeah, either either five or six weeks from like right now. We don't we don't have the exact announcement of which which one's either gonna be five or six weeks. Next week is going to be a balance patch where cards will be changing, where... Um, you cannot escape. Yeah, where, where things are going to be getting balanced next week. No, it's not the beginning of the month. It's always... All the stuff's always the end of the month. So, like, the balance patch is next week, you know, the end of the... Which is, like, the end of the month. But... All of the major updates and changes and stuff have been end of month stuff. So it'll be basically like a month from next week. Okay, let's see. Do we want one, one? Do I want to just like throw down all of this weird random stuff or play Shen? The. The reason, basically, after drawing the Green Glade Caretaker, then I had pause because I, I wouldn't, I kind of want the Caretaker to be in play to see this barrier that the Shen gets. Oh, y'all are saying there's two card releases in August? I know nothing about that. I, I guess y'all maybe have heard something else. I know nothing about that at all. I, I always like just look on their news site. You know, they have a news website and there's there's nothing about and I've I've read like every word of every one of those those news things, like all their updates and stuff. I I don't know if they've said it's something anywhere else, but that's that's all I know. Come take refuge. So if there is multiple releases of, of new cards, I don't really know anything about it.
there. Okay, I don't... Yeah, I, I know nothing about that snowman. Daniel says it should just be one set in August. Yeah, I would... I would assume it would just be one set. I think it would be really weird for it to be two different installments in the same set. Or, sorry, in the same month. That seems like that would be really weird. I I wouldn't be expecting that at all, but I, I don't know. Alright, so we're just gonna have... I'm just playing this right now just to get Shen leveled up. Just make sure we have a leveled up Shen. And... We have the extra four mana for these. This would be like the perfect time to have deny, but. What's that noise? These words belong to us. Glad Rekindler is gone. That's maybe the best card for us to get rid of. I mean, I guess besides Rumination, of course. Can't ruination before my next attack turn because they're gonna have eight mana this next turn. So I, I will be able to go straight to attacks. Ooh. So I can either play Shen plus Deny or just throw down another Genevieve. Probably Shen plus Deny. Stealing one to everything and they gain three. Nah. Nah. Okay, you are going to pump up. Actually, I should I should spread the wealth around so you pump up the smallest thing. Because I want to spread the power around to make it the most difficult. Okay, GG's. Everything as it should be. Okay, so two and three. Um Yeah, Leeson. Just this isn't the best Leeson build uh, for this, you know, this kind of deck. I think Demacia plus Shen is really strong, and I think, you know, like, that's really where we got our wins, or just on the back of Demacia uh, and Shen, and um, I would just, I think that just kind of playing, like, this exact, even if, even, like, the exact 37, but you just take out the three Lee Sins and put in three Fioras, or take out the three Lee Sins, put in three Zeds, um, or heck, even put in Quint, take out the, those three and put in three Quins, um, or even take those out, probably put in Luxes, maybe. 
Unfortunately, I think all of those would have been better. I mean, kind of the same thing with Lucian, Garen. It's it's sad. You know, Lee Sin just in this kind of deck is not as good as all of those other cards. Um, but it's good it's good to to try stuff out and you know try try new things. Um, a lot of people have been asking like if Lee Sin should be buffed. Lee Sin's not, you know, like is this this champion not good enough? Does it need a buff? That kind of stuff. And I don't know. I'm not I'm not there. I'm not like clamoring and saying that Lee Sin has to be buffed. It is difficult to enable Lee Sin. There's not a lot of cheap spells that really help you enable Lee Sin. And the reason kind of for that is like with the, the just the mechanic of having the spell mana. Uh, it does make cheap spells super, super valuable and, you know, very easy to cast. And I agree with the person that said earlier said that kind of the best way to play Lee Sin is with Might and Cat of the Arm and stuff like that. They can give Lee Sin the Overwhelm to go along with the Dragon's Rage and how powerful that can be. Um... So, you know, like with those Noxus cards. Could you play Shen and Lee Sin with Noxus? Like maybe that's something you could do and have, you know, Might to go along with Shen and Lee Sin. That could be something. Like Shen, Shen usually gets like chump blocked by little like 1-1s one and stuff also. That may not be the worst Might um, target. And you'd have, what, I guess like Elixir of Wrath could go with Lee Sin. I don't know, Blade's Edge. Blade's Edge is good. Um, I don't know if, if you could put it like stun stuff in there too and be able to play Ravenous Flock like you play like Concussive Palm and things like that. You know, maybe, maybe you can get some enough spells in there. Um, maybe. But anyway, um, yeah. Deck's not too bad. Uh, I, you know, the deck's not too bad. I think it was, I think it was perfectly fine. You know, like we went two and three could have easily been a three and two also. But I think that the other pairings with champions um, have been cards that I have liked more um, with that. All right. Uh, that's it here for Shen Lee. First deck there. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments as well. You know, get in that discussion. Let me know what you think about um, just Lee Sin as a champion. Um, do you think it's... You know, if you think it needs to be buffed, like what would you do to buff it? Um, anything like that? Like how how would you play Shen and Lee Sin together? Like what what region would you pair those two with? Also, feel free to let me know. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Shen Lee, and I'll see you for the next video.